What is going on, everybody? This is SDoc21, welcoming you to my YouTube channel. That's a pretty fancy intro you got right there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What is going on? Everybody, this is SDoc21, coming to you with some more Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play. In the last episode, we came to the cliffhanger of this battle. I'm probably one hit KO'd right there. Or not, okay. Growlithe was poison, anyway. Came up to this battle, thought we were gonna get one in, but forgot that it had to say that Growlithe's Intimidate cuts the foe's attack. So now we are back to complete this battle. Go Charizard. Let's go whoop some booty. The primary used minimize. Of course. Ugh, I'm so hungry, guys. I, it's almost 4 o'clock now. And I, I don't know if I can wait till 5. I'm so hungry. I don't want to eat anything in my room because I do have food. It's just that I don't want to eat and then go eat more because I don't need extra food and all that. I just, I'm hungry. I don't even know what they're going to have. And by what they are going to have. So I guess I should describe how my eating situations are here on campus. Um, we have a catering company that works... I guess, I guess they work for us, or they're contracted with us or whatever, but it's this thing called the top. So it, there is a building, it's like where all the mailboxes are, and a lot of the offices, like um, the uh, the vice prince, not vice principal, oh my goodness, the vice president's office is there. Excuse my, uh, my poison sounds. Anyway, th that's in there, career services, a bunch of other places, and there's a couple of meeting rooms and stuff like that. But then, on the second floor, it's called the top, because, well, it's on top. And then there's also the underground, which underground there is like a little workout room. It's got some, like, weight machines. No free weights, though. It's got some, some treadmills, ellipticals, and then two ping pong tables. And then there's two pool tables, and there's also a place that you can get some food. Like, they can make you a piece of pizza or, like, uh, a sandwich or something, like a chicken sandwich or whatever. Um, but up top is where you eat every day, and I have the meal plan where I get unlimited swipes, so it's like $5,000, and I can go up there and eat as much as I want whenever I want, so it's kind of like a buffet. They have a salad bar, they have a grill, they have like a, a make-it-your-own station where they'll do things like, uh, like baked potatoes, and you can customize them, and they do burritos sometimes, or tacos, or like a stir-fry thing. So that's that's cool and stuff, and then there's also like like what you would consider a hot meal line that you get at like a high school or whatever. So they have something different every day. It's so like some days it'll be like turkey or whatever, and you get mashed potatoes and green beans, and then another day it'll be like like a beef stew thing, and you can get something else with it and all that. So that's where I go and get food, and they also have pizza, and I I think I said grill, but like they'll make hamburgers or hot dogs or or quesadillas, or grilled cheese, or anything that really requires some sort of grilling process, because it's the grill, you know, logic, but anyway, there's that too. So if they have like cheeseburgers, or sometimes I'll have bacon cheeseburgers, so I'll get one of those, because those are pretty good. And then I'll, sometimes I get a salad. I used to get a salad every day, and that was my dinner, but I realized that I just, I want more food than that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Please stay alive, Growlithe. Oh, coming in clutch. Alright, so yeah, so I get I get whatever it looks good, and then they also have ice cream, and they make desserts and stuff, so sometimes there will be pudding, or there will be cake, or build your own cupcakes, or cookies, or jello, or pie. They always have something. It changes every day, so it's good. It keeps up variety. And yeah, that's that's the top, and that's where I get food, and I just want it to be 5 o'clock so I can go and eat because I'm hungry. Uh, and you can also get chocolate milk. That's what I love to do. I always drink water when I'm up there, so I usually get, like, I'll go and I'll get something to eat first. I'll set it down the table. I'll go and get a cup of water, and then I'll go over to the other side and get a cup of chocolate milk, and then some sort of dessert thing. That way, I eat my food, drink water, and growl a thing. Okay, anyway. I go eat food, drink water, and then after that, 
I can have chocolate milk with whatever the dessert thing is for the day. Or I can have chocolate milk with whatever else I got. Like, if I got a burger and fries one day and I really was hungry and I wanted to get a piece of pizza to go with it, then I would drink the chocolate milk and eat the pizza and just be happy, you know? So, I want to go up there because today is a Sunday, so I'm not sure what they're going to have. Usually on weekends they close down some things, so like... Some weekends the build-it-yourself bar will be down, or the pizza line will be down, or the grill will be down, or sometimes even on weekends they'll have two of those down, so like, there will be no pizza and... Is that a hidden item? No, I'm just seeing things. Alright, anyway. There will be like, no pizza and no grill. So, it's kind of frustrating sometimes when like, you really want a hamburger and they have the grill closed, but you just gotta deal. Alright, so obviously I'm not even going to try to mess with these water Pokemon, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep throwing Growth out, and then I am going to switch over to Charizard who will be able to take more damage because, you know, 23 level advantage, I don't have to worry about getting hit with Bubble or Water Gun even. So there you go. See, it did a whole 10 damage, but that probably would have brought Growlithe down to death in one hit, just because I'm a lower level and I'm tight disadvantage. Poliwag has faintaminated. Alright, so now we are going to send out Growlithe again and repeat the process. Can you guys hear those bells off in the background? I doubt you heard it, but I was quiet there just in case you could. It's pretty cool, because we have a, a smaller campus and a, a tighter community and all that. that and we also have a, a bell tower, so like they understand what students want. So the bells run every day from 8 in the morning until 6 at night. Because after 6 o'clock, you don't really need the bells going off on the, the clock, because you're not going anywhere usually. If you're going anywhere, it's like to dinner and back. Because there aren't typically nighttime classes, but there are some. So the bells will ring every 15 minutes. And then every hour it'll do the whole chime and then it'll ding out the hour. So that's pretty cool. There we go, Growth to level 20. Charizard is getting even closer to 46. We are going to switch back to Growlithe again. Ooh. I was hitting the wrong key. I was hitting the zero key instead of the right arrow. My mistake, guys. That's why it looked like I was being foolish and such. I'm just, I'm hungry. I want chocolate milk. Out of anything, I just want chocolate milk because it's just, it's delicious. Let's be honest here. Chocolate milk is, is life juice. Oh, that's another thing with chocolate milk. Did you know, I don't know if you did know this, but I found this out a couple years ago. I think I was a sophomore in high school. Might have been a freshman. But did you know that when you work out and then you drink chocolate milk, it is better for you than any other substance you can drink? It builds more muscle, it it helps you recover faster, it gives you more stamina. It's like it's like a ridiculous amount of benefits from drinking chocolate milk, and I never thought about it because you know it's it's chocolate milk, so it's got like sugar and stuff in it, and it's milk, so it doesn't sound like it would work well, but it does for some reason. Yep, awesome. Next city, we are going to be adding two members to the team. And we are going to be defeating the Grass Gym, which will get Growlithe up. Remember to hit A rapidly. Hopefully you'll catch an item. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Yeah, there is the Snorlax Pokemon. There's a hidden item right there. You see the little dark circle? I know it's a hidden item even though you can see it and all that. And I, f I think I remember there were a couple of new species of Pokemon there, but that's really not my concern. We've got all of the Team Rocket people. We're going to have to go to the game corner and go down below and beat the junk out of them. But in the meantime, what I want to do is I want to... I'm going to, you know, I'm going to heal up first and then I'm going to end the episode somewhere around there. Or I'll head to the gym first, but there is a secret place that I would like to show you where you can get a Pokemon. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it is how you obtain the Pokemon Eevee, which has three evolutions in this generation, where it can be Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon. So to end off this episode, we are going to head down to face 
the gym, which I don't remember if it's blocked off or not. It might be, and I might just be foolish right now, but we're gonna head over here and see what's going on. Nope, we can get into the gym, guys. So this is where we're going to start off with next episode, facing off against the first gym trainer. Have a great day, everybody. I will see you all next time, and I swear if I don't get chocolate milk, I'm gonna be a little upset. <laughs> Bye. All right, guys, click the video on the left to take you to the previous video. Click my speed drawing and the 3D question mark on the right to take you to a random video. And as always, be sure to hit the big red button down below to subscribe.